the Boston Whaler is primed and it's ready for its final paint. Stay tuned, keep watching, and you'll see how we got it here. So I'm getting ready to do the fairing compound. Um, there's a little bits of it already down here and there. Before I do that, I got to do the sanding. It is going to be a lot of sanding. So the, it's been a few minutes. Um, I'll show you all the spots I'm going to go through. Uh, I'm going to sand the hell out of this boat. Then we're going to go over it with fairing compound where it needs it. And we're going to sand again. I'll take that opportunity to really, really take my time. Um, search out the spots that need the fairing compound. Get it in there, sand it. Um, once we get the boat done uh, at one point, at one time, we're going to go back and do it again. So, uh, bear with us. We'll get this boat sanded. Get the fairing compound in, sand it again. And hopefully we'll get it paint ready for the first coat of primer. As you can see, I've got all my sanding tools with the exception of the uh, belt sander out here. Um, I just want to be prepared. Everybody's got sheet, uh, fresh sheets of sandpaper on it, so uh, let the sanding begin. Here's a two-part fairing compound I'll be using. It's made by Total Boat. It comes in uh, two colors, um, yellow and blue. The uh, yellow is the compound itself. The blue is the hardener. And what you want to do is mix this stuff up until it's a nice green color. And um, that's what we'll be using to fill in all the holes and gaps. This is basically like Bondo for boats, but it's, I think it's a lot stronger, probably a lot better. Getting this nice and mixed up till it's a baby shit green, basically. And, uh, Make sure there's no streaks in there, and um, it's good to go. So I like to work in small batches for the simple reason this stuff sets up pretty quick. And um, I finished up with this batch. I'm going to clean the tape off of this, mix up another batch, go back and hit any areas that uh, that need to be hit. And um, I'm basically going to keep doing this. And uh, once we get done with this, we'll sand, see what areas need. Uh, I just got some on me. That was nice. Once we get done with this um, and it's set, I'll sand it down, see what areas need some more. Uh, usually a two-step process with this boat is probably a bit more. There's a lot of a lot of areas that need work on this boat. So um, stay tuned. So I'm part way through the uh, sanding and fairing uh, compound. And uh, let me show you what we've got. So if you look at this, what you'll see is green gobbledygook everywhere. Uh, that's the fairing compound. This is a second actually kind of really the third iteration of fairing compound um, there's a lot of it uh, you'll notice that there's some black marks from uh, sharpies and what I what I do is I go around and uh, anywhere that I see it needs 
any additional work. I'll uh, mark it with a sharpie. Uh, I'm going to do one more iteration of sanding here. Um, hope, uh, luckily, each time we sand, it gets a little easier. Um, there's less to sand the next time around. I'm actually going to up the grit to about 120 this time. Um, I won't go past that though, because 80 is supposed to be fine for the epoxy. So let's uh, let's do this one more time as far as sanding, and um, do a final uh, patch up, and then uh, we'll go with the two-part epoxy uh, primer. Well, I'm all through with the sanding and fairing compound. Um, there was three, maybe four iterations of that. I tend to have lost count, and I'm getting eaten up by gnats. Well, you can call it the big day. Uh, I've done a ton of prep work on this 13-foot um, Boston Whaler. So uh, in this video, we're going to prime and paint. Um, I've got a lot of stuff done already. It's uh, prepped out. There's a ton of fairing compound. and. Uh, thickened the epoxy in here so hopefully it's going to come out good it's all been sanded but what I've got out here I've got a got an air hose I'm going to blow this out just to make sure there's no uh, specks of anything in there I've got a paint tray um, I was originally going to use two-part epoxy but I'm going to use the uh, petite easy prime the reason for that is that two-part epoxy does not go well over single stage paints um, considering the age of the boat and the times it's been finished before I have no idea what paints on there so we're going to go with the stuff that is compatible. Um, acetone, going to give the boat a good wipe down with acetone and um, then we'll start painting it. One thing I did do, I'll show this, is I, I bought two 5x7 tarps and uh, adjustable bungees and uh, this is outdoors. Um, stuff miraculously comes off the trees and floats into the boat no matter what you do. But what I'll do is once I get a coat on, I'll drop this so it's a couple of inches above the boat to help um, minimize any of that stuff coming in into the boat. So without further ado, let me go ahead and uh, get started.
here's what I used to get the boat to this point where it's all patched in, primed, ready to go. Uh, I used a brushing thinner and a performance enhancer on the Easy Prime um, top side undercoater, which with a high build, really needed that on this boat. And of course, the uh, fair and compound. I love this stuff. The total boat, fair, uh, total fair, is uh, pretty amazing. Actually, uh, fills in really good, sands easily, uh, leaves a pretty good finish uh, when you've uh, mixed it in and got it sanded down. So here's the final product as far as it being primed and ready to get the final uh, coats of paint in. We've got two coats of polyurethane. Pretty pleased with the way it's turned out. It's been a lot of work. So uh, keep watching in the next episode you'll see how we uh, get two coats of um, polyurethane total boat paint on here um, in, a, in traditional Boston Whaler blue. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and definitely subscribe and hit the bell button. Thanks.